Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky described Russia's invasion as a declaration of war against the whole of Europe. Thursday morning brought a full-scale attack in the early hours, two days after Russia recognised the independence of two breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine. World leaders were united in their condemnation. US President Joe Biden described the attack as unprovoked and unjustified. However, he ruled out sending in US troops to defend Ukraine, instead confirming he would trigger full-scale sanctions with US allies. EU Commissioner Ursula von der Leyen said the bloc would impose a new round of sanctions aimed at hitting Russia's economy severely. Meanwhile, the EU's High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Josep Borrell, described the conflict as the darkest hours of Europe since the Second World War. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez also gave a televised address calling on Vladimir Putin to bring an immediate end to hostilities in Ukraine. Addressing Britons, Boris Johnson described Russia's reckless aggression as not just an attack on Ukraine, but an attack on democracy and freedom in Eastern Europe and around the world. He said this crisis is about the right of a free, sovereign, independent European people to choose their own future, adding that it is a right that the UK will always defend. The Prime Minister said the UK and its allies were clear in their mission, adding diplomatically, politically, economically, and eventually, militarily, this hideous and barbaric venture must end in failure. Downing Street later clarified that Mr Johnson's reference to militarily facing down Russia was an expectation that the Ukrainian people will engage with Russian forces. A spokesperson confirmed Britain was providing defensive military capability to Ukraine. In his televised address, Boris Johnson also assured Britons that his government would do everything to keep them safe from Mr Putin's threats against those who stand with Ukraine. And the flame of freedom burns low.